I thought you were calorie counting. I thought you were on a diet. I thought you were making healthier choices. I know and predicted these comments before I posted anything this week. Because as soon as you announce something, it's like people want you to fail. So that they can make fun of it and joke about it. Now, I have said that I am now making healthier choices with my food. But what I also said was I will not deny myself of a takeaway or treat, even though some people think I shouldn't have them. If you guys don't know, Becky, like, I don't know, a few days ago, she had come out and she said that she's going to start calorie counting with this new app that she has on her phone. And she put herself down to 2,300 calories. And she said that she was going to make healthier decisions. And she said that this is going to be like turning over a new leaf within her life because she wants to become healthier. She wants to be a better person. She wants to be more active. But over that last week, over this last week, nothing has been done. Literally nothing. Like maybe she had one video where she ate like a, a Cobb salad or something like that. But then every other following video after that one has just been her body slamming uh, copious, ginormous amounts of calories. And I don't even necessarily care if Becky wants to eat these ginormous foods. I don't fucking care. The issue that I have is like, you're going to sit there and you're going to try to tell me, oh, I'm going to make better decisions. I'm going to put myself down to 2,300 calories a day. But then you have sit, then you sit there and talk about something, but I'm going to eat whatever I want regardless. There wasn't even a point of having an app on your phone if you're just going to sit there and go, I'm going to eat what I want. I'm going to have a takeaway whenever I want. I'm going to do whatever I want regardless. What is the per what is the purpose of that? It, you just completely you just completely negated the entire argument that you had to begin with. And I think that's one of the reasons why so many people are calling her out. Because dude, you can't say you're gonna do something and then just like within the next day, literally the next day, you completely go back on it. That's crazy, Becky. There's a reason why people are coming at you. And the fact that you're just sitting here going, oh, I know this is going to be a thing. You know why it's going to be a thing? Because you literally went back on what you said yourself. That's not good. You have no consistency, bro. You're not, you're not practicing what you preach. It'd be one thing if you were eating consistently and maybe that one day, that one day you decided to have a takeaway. One day. Not every day. Not every day. Every day can't be takeaway day, Becky. I don't know how you're going to reach that 2300 calories every single day when I see you literally tripling that in one meal. It's just not right. You know what, Becky? If you just want to eat your food, that's fine. I understand this is your whole TikTok page is dedicated to eating food. And that's going to be hard to get off of, given the fact that people are coming to your page to watch you body slam, to satisfy the lips of Becky Jones consistently enough to, to really get those sounds, those urges, to get that, that satisfaction out your mouth. But... You told everybody that you were going to do that. You know, it's the same thing with the with the filter. Uh, I don't care that she's using a filter. I just don't like the fact that she sits there and she says she doesn't use it. You use the filter. Stop lying. That slimming, that, that smoothing filter, that's, that, just stop lying about this shit, okay? If you don't want to lose weight or you don't want to stop eating, then don't stop eating. Just don't tell people that you're going to stop doing it. I will not deny myself of a takeaway or treat, even though some people think I shouldn't have them because they think that I have them too often. Yeah, just too often. It's okay to have them. Just not as much as you're you're eating them. Now, to be fair on myself, this was one meal that I have maybe overindulged in. When maybe? Maybe? What you talk about right now, dude? Look at the size of the plate. Look at the serving of fries I'm even smelling up right now, bro. That shit is big. Big. Big as fuck. When I've been out for food this week, I have been trying to make the healthier choices. You're going out to eat, Tom Boss, I'm, I'm going to make healthier decisions. Get a Tupperware. Make your own food at the crib. Bring it with you. You're going to look weird when you sit at the dinner table with the rest of the people at a restaurant and you're popping open your, your Tupperware and you're putting your fork in that shit and you're eating it. But guess what? It's better for you overall, right? It's going to actually satisfy. It's going to be more satiating. It's going to be better for you in the long run. You might look weird, but so what? So what, dude? Or you could do what Lee is doing right now where she's literally eating like a fourth of what everybody else is eating. You could do that, but I don't see you doing that. I don't see you doing that. So when you say I'm making better decisions, what kind of better decisions are you talking about, dude? Is it the plate that you're eating on? Is it the napkin that you're putting on your lap instead of not doing that before? Like what exactly is the better decision? I would love to know. That is just my option. And I've tried to control my portions whilst having it. Not really. And tonight I was having a chippy Chinese tea. And I wanted all this food that is on my plate. Of course. I mean, yeah, of course you wanted that shit. Just like the same way a crackhead wants crack, right? But is it a good thing that he wants crack? Probably not, right? It's not a good thing to want crack. It's not a good thing to indulge in methamphetamines and other drugs and such and so, so on and so forth. 
uh, maybe once, maybe twice in your life, right? But like doing it every day, doing it every every week, no, it's not good, is it, Becky? So like, I understand you wanted it, but so what? Who the fuck cares that you wanted it? I want a lot of things too. I want a Tesla. I want a big ass house. I want a ginormous money bag just thrown at my head, consisting of billions and gajillions of dollars. But it doesn't mean that that doesn't mean anything because like ultimately, uh, just because I want that doesn't mean I'm gonna execute. But you seem to really, really delve into your your urges too much. And tonight I was having a chippy Chinese tea and I wanted all this food that is on my plate and I do not feel guilty about eating it. I'm then why even bother saying, why even bother saying you're going to be on a, you're going to be on a calorie deficit then? If you're talking about some, I don't feel guilty for this shit. That's fine. You don't got to feel guilty, but it kind of defeats the whole purpose of putting yourself in a calorie deficit if you don't give a fuck ultimately when you fuck up. What's even the purpose? If there are no consequences to your actions, if you don't even feel like you did something wrong, then there's no point. You just completely, at this point, this entire argument that you had is irrelevant. It's not, it's not worth it anymore. And I wanted all this food that is on my plate, and I do not feel guilty about eating it, and nor should we. What do you mean we? Stop putting we into it. Is We're talking about you right now. What do you mean we? Why are you trying to put us as a collective to try to make it seem like you're not as bad as it actually is? Because I used to do this a lot. When I was in high school, I used to never do my homework because I hated doing homework. And I used to come in, dried paper, nothing on the paper at all, right? And I would think somebody in this class obviously also didn't do their homework, right? It's not just me. There's got to be several other people within this class that didn't do their homework. And guess what happened? Everybody did their homework. And here I was looking like an idiot with uh, uh, no homework at all. So when you hear people say, we, it's their way of trying to disqualify their bad habits because it's not, it's not that bad if everybody else is doing it as well. But we're not all doing this, Becky. And by the way, this is your channel and this is your goal. Why the fuck are you trying to put everybody else in your goal when it's about you? Stop trying to take away accountability from yourself. The wording, the language, the way you talk is so disqualifying from yourself, dude. Stop trying to negate your own values. Food that is on my plate and I do not feel guilty about eating it and nor should we. If you want it, have it. I yeah, I what you talk about if you want it go have it so if i want to eat a dude on the street like if i just saw a guy and i was like damn that dude look good as fuck i'm gonna go ahead and gum that motherfucker down i'm just gonna go ahead and put my mouth solely on that dude's back of his neck lick the salt straight off the back of his shoulders and then start munching on his shit you think i should just do that right because if you want it go get it right obviously right becky what are you talking about where do we ever use that ideology in general in our society are you crazy there's a reason why people save money there's a reason why people invest there's a reason why people postpone dissatisfaction because they know that if they get it now it's not gonna be as good as it could be if you got it later like for instance Weight loss. Just because the food tastes good right now, that doesn't mean in 10 years you're not going to be feeling the effects of the pure obesity, the big backness that you're emanating off yourself on a consistent basis, dude. Some walrus shit. Some big back buffalo shit, dude. It's not right. So you're sitting here, and you most definitely are sitting, talking about, oh, you know, if you want to go get it. That's crazy, Becky. That's actually the worst advice I've ever heard in my life. That's, no. Never do that, dude. Always, no. Don't do that, okay? Do not feel guilty about eating it, and nor should we. If you want it, have it, I say. Tomorrow, I've always- Then what's the point of even having the deficit? Like, what's even the point of having the app or trying to monitor your calories if you're just gonna ultimately go, if, you, if I want that shit, I'm gonna eat it. Like, what the fuck? Like, it don't really matter. You know, like, that's at that point, you just have no, you have nothing. Like, you have no accountability. You have no drive. You're literally just a person doing whatever they want, whenever they want, because you can never look at the accountability. I mean, that's fine, Becky, but just keep it a buck. Just tell us what it is. And nor should we. If you want it, have it, I say. True. Tomorrow, I've already got my meal planned. And on Monday, again, we'll just be trying to make those healthier. What do you mean trying? Dude, what did Yoda say? There is no try, do or do not. What you mean try? Like, there is should there should not be a try. It's okay to fuck up, but that shouldn't be like an intentional fuck up. It should be like a, oh man, you know, I don't have really a lot of choices here. Like, all right, I'll just do this instead. It's not that, it's not the worst. But the fact that you're going out of your way to order this food and talk about some, oh yeah, you know, if I want that shit, I'm going to grab, grab it. And, and then you're sitting here going, I'm going to try. Becky, you've been, with all due respect, okay? And you know, I like you, Becky. I do. I do really like you. Your health is at risk, okay? Could we take? We gotta take a second here for a second. You are fat. You're obese. That's not a good thing, okay? You've been eating more food than most people have eaten in their entire lives in your only 31 years on this earth. That's not a good thing, 
okay? Now, I get it. Food tastes good. Food in your mouth satisfy your urges. You get the dopamine hit when, you, when the food hits your tongue. I understand. But at some point, we need to understand that even though the, the, the hormones are firing off and all this other stuff and your stomach is feeling satisfied and your lips are being glazed up, there needs to be an understanding at one point that even though it tastes good in the moment, Later on, you're going to really, really, really feel the negative effects of this shit. It's not supposed to be, you're not supposed to be 350. How much do you weigh? How, how tall are you? You're not supposed to be that size. Okay, that's big. That's really big. Human beings ain't, are not supposed to be that size. Now, of course, somebody's going to go, but David, there's, you know, half Thor B. Jordanson. He's big as fuck, right? Yeah, but that guy's lifting like a thousand pounds off the fucking floor. Like, there's a difference, okay? Like, so is Becky lifting a thousand pounds off the floor? No, but... It's just like there's no accountability for Becky. She's just sitting here forgiving all her bad activity. There's th th at that point, there's no reason to even have this diet. Got my meal planned. And on Monday, again, we'll just be trying to make those healthier options where I still can have treats. <laughs> and I know I shouldn't have to justify myself to anybody. You don't have to, but you also have a social media following where you disclose this information to us. So you don't have to, but you're choosing to do so. So I don't even understand the point of like, I don't have to do this, but I'm going to do it anyway. I know. But you're doing it anyway, right? So what's even the purpose of saying that shit? Some smooth brain activities right here. Where I still can have treats. And I know I shouldn't have to justify myself to anybody. But I already know some of the comments that come. But sometimes you just can't win. Well, it's not about winning. You literally set yourself up for failure. You literally said one thing and completely went back on your word. And these are all recent videos. The videos we're all going to see right here are within like the last four or five days. So, you know, if you're thinking, David, you're taking things out of context. No, I'm not. No, I'm not, dude. These are all her eating videos in the last five days. Not even joking. So if you're sitting here and you're going, I'm being biased. I'm not. I want Becky to succeed as much as, as, much as possible. And you know, if you've watched me for any, any extent of time, I'm not a bitch. I'll give people credit where, they, where his credit is due. I gave Corey credit when he was trying to run. I gave Leah credit. I give Leah credit almost every time I see her. The fact that she's always trying to make better decisions. She's trying to get hashtag snatched for the wedding. She's trying to look better. You know, I always give these people credit as much as humanly possible. But... If I'm sitting here and you put this out to the internet and you're telling everybody that you're going to do a certain thing, but you don't do it, well then, you know, go, you know, suck me off, bro. What the fuck you want me to do at that point, dude? I'm going to have to critique you. You're, you're just telling me, you're basically telling me that you need me to critique you. That's crazy. I'm not, no, 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 Becky. You, it's your fault. You did this to yourself. You told people one thing and you did something else. Therefore, you're going to suffer the consequences of that. It'd be one thing if you didn't say something wrong and people were talking shit, maybe I could defend you. But here, I can't anybody but i already know some of the comments that come but sometimes you just can't win and to be honest i don't really need to explain myself okay becky true don't need to explain yourself even though this is your entire channel even though i just have but thank you for all your love and support i'm loving finding new recipes Damn, it's like the sped upness is crazy bro and have a guess what you think I'm making in my slow cooker for tomorrow night. Yeah, why are you... I mean, that's just crazy, bro. I think Becky got to have another hobby, dude. Just keep talking about food too much. By the way, that slow cooker that she had, um, the first thing that she ever made in that slow cooker was that chocolate... The chocolate milkshake that she made last week. So, just really put that in perspective. There, No food was consumed in that yet. It was just literally the first thing cooked was chocolate chocolate milkshake. It's Tay. Love you all. I'm a celebrity. What you think about that? What you think about that right here? What you, what you, what you, what do you think about this right here? What do you, what do you, what are you saying right now, huh? Leave in the comment section. Let me know what you talk about when you saw this right here. And by the way, this was about four days ago. Four days ago, I think four or five days ago is the time that's making this video. What do you, what do you, what are you picking up? What I'm putting down, huh? Are you smelling something up right now, <laughs> Becky? Becky, what the fuck is that, huh? Becky, you talk about I'm going, I'm gonna make better dietary decisions. What? Where? Who? are you talking about right now what are you saying right now dude what is all of that that's so much good gully miss molly what are we doing here all right becky just say you want to overindulge just say that say you don't want people taking you serious just say you want to eat whatever the fuck you want to eat just say that you don't got to do all this shit you don't got to sit there and say i'm gonna make better dietary decisions and do shit like this god damn you don't make it easy you really don't make it easy, Becky, to defend you. Out of here. Look at that smoothness of the face, too, bro. It's all about that filter action, man. Maybe I got to put one on. Hi, everyone. So, of course, to get ready for the start of I'm a Celebrity 2024, nah. I have made a little I'm a Celeb treat ball. But who? But who does that? Like, who, 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 who celebrates, like, the launch of a new TV show? 
and, and by making a treat board. Like, who does that? Like, I was really interested in the new Dragon Ball Daima on Netflix. Uh, I didn't go down the street and suck off a homeless guy because it was a new celebration event. You know why? Because I don't need to do that. And plus, it's just a TV show. Like, I don't know. Maybe in the UK, this is, like, really cool and crazy. But, nah. Uh, I just don't really think it's worth it to just sit there and imbue diet like type 20 diabetes upon yourself because of the new TV show that's happening in the UK. I just I, maybe I'm just ignorant, but I just don't really think it's that worth. It. I got all this stuff from MS. I've got some Colin the Caterpillars, some just gummy bullshit, worms, damn, and just some other chocolatey treats. I also got some gold coins as well, like hopefully representing because you know the aesthetics, just for the aesthetics. I mean, obviously, uh, she's gonna eat that shit. I don't know if she eats it with the tinfoil on, it might be better. Stars, I also got some crisps, some onion rings, and some salt and vinegar twist, which I do put in the bowls a little bit later on. You don't I make can't it easy, wait Becky. I to try these Swiss nutty clouds. I've got some buttons. Damn. So you're going to be hearing a lot about I'm a Celebrity this year. God Buzzing damn. that GK Barry is in there. Big good luck to her, fellow TikToker. Ooh, damn. And I really hope that Maura Higgins Half goes bag in. right there. The lineup looks insane. So let me know who your favorite is or who. So is this just a snack? Something light to hold you over until till the dinner time? Is this, Is that what that is? Just something light, just something, you know, just a little something right now just to hold me down for the meal. You know, I had a friend one time, right? I think I said this before, but I had a friend one time, and he had to called me up, and we were just talking on the phone. He was like, I was like, yo, bro, hop on Fortnite, hop on this game. I don't know what we were playing at the time, but I was like, yo, hop on Fortnite. And he was like, ah, sorry, bro, I can't, can't, can't play Fortnite right now because I'm about to go out to dinner with my family going to a buffet, my whole family. And I was like, oh, that's cool, bro. That's real cool to go to a buffet with your family. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're about to leave in like 20 minutes. But yo, David, bro, I'm kind of, I'm a little hungry. Like I'm a little hungry right now. And the buffet is like 30 minutes away. Uh, what do you think I should do? And I was like, what you talking about? What you mean? What do I think you should do? I mean, just eat whatever the fuck is there. He was like, you don't think I should make like a sandwich for the road? You don't think I should just have like a quick sandwich just to hold me over until we get to buffet? I'm looking like, you want to eat before you eat? You want to pre-order food before you get to food? What are you talking about? I was like, nah, bro. What you talking? What are you saying right now? He's like, I got that, I got that honey smoked Oscar Mayer cheat, and I got that Kraft Americans, bro. I could probably put some Doritos on that. That shit will probably hold me down. That shit would do me right. My stomach is gurgling right now, David. I mean, I'm hungry, bro. I don't know. I haven't eaten in like three hours. I don't know. You think I should do it? I was like, no, no, no. What you talking about? No. And then he was like, yeah, yeah, you right. But you know what happened? He sent me a picture of him body slamming a sandwich on the way to the buffet. Uh, sometimes it be like that. Sometimes it be like that. Sometimes I guess this is what that is too. Got to body slam something before you body slam. Who you're rooting for. I feel like every year I watch it, I always like someone Becky, nobody, okay, I'm gonna, okay, let's say, I get it, it's your favorite TV show, but right now I'm looking at pure diabetes upon a table, and you're over here talking about some TV show. I think we got other problems that we need to talk about. Why the fuck does anybody give a fuck about a TV show that you care about really, really greatly when I'm looking at whatever the fuck this is? Okay, yeah, totally right. Go ahead, keep going off. Friend at the end. So a big good luck to all the celebrities in there. What about the stomach? What about your stomach? Like, what's your stomach gonna be doing after all this? Like, when you when you throw this shit back into your throat, right? What happens to you? Like, what what do you do after that? Do you just like lay down and just try to survive? Do you have to take a shower after eating this? Like, I will be wet. I will be moist as fuck. I'd be sweating off my forehead, dripping down on my my kneecaps. And let me know who your favorite is. Nobody cares, Enjoy you know. watching. Love you all. You're fucking gross. This is diabolical shit. Hi everyone, and welcome to my what you in a day. For my dinner, I had a corned beef and paste sandwich with some of these sweet chili rice cracker fins. Even the I... meat inside the bread was trying to run away from Becky's mouth. And he ended up eating one of the sandwiches. Man, it's raining right now. Oh, it sounds good. Can you guys hear the rain in the back? I love the rain, man. It sounds really good. But the ambience of the, the ambulance or the, the, you know, listen, I live in a big city. People get shot. It is what it is, man. I don't condone that particular type of activity, but people do get shot here. People do tend to suffer some traumas. I don't know. I don't do that personally because I don't gangbang anymore. Hold up. Not gangbang as in like, I'm not, you know, me and the boys, but like, actually, you know what I'm saying? It was so filling. I thought because the bread was small, it wouldn't be as filling. I had the white chocolate. God damn, Becky. You had the cookies too? The cookies in the car? You just chilling outside the Becky. 
Becky, calm the fuck down. Don't ever disrespect my eyes like that ever again. You really out here every day doing something crazy. You got to calm the fuck. How many calories is each one of those cookies, huh? You go body slam a cookie in the car, huh? How many cookies you body? I saw, I'm seeing a white one. Quick gingerbread cookie. What do you mean a quick? A quick gingerbread cookie? That's just the size of your hand. And the triple chocolate cookie. Two? 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 Two cookies in the car? You got nothing else going on? Like, you just chilling right now in the crib? Like, what you doing right now? There's nothing There's nothing going on. There's, you don't got shit doing at the house, huh? Nothing? I mean, there could have been a bunch of things that you... You don't have hobbies? I know you don't have a lot of friends, but... Nothing? Damn. I mean, maybe we gotta pick up a different hobby, Becky. Cookie, which one? It's depressing as fuck to see a big woman chilling in the car out in the parking lot eating cookies. I, it's just something about it. It's depressing. Amazing. I then had a call in the caterpillar. Okay. Dessert. Wait, why you... How you have a dessert and then have another dessert after dessert? Two dessert? Two? Technically three. Because cookie, cookie, dessert. How you need that many dessert? God damn. I am obsessed with these desserts. So what? So what? So what? I don't give a fuck that you're obsessed with it. Man, dude, get the fuck off me, dude. Just the perfect dessert going. Then for my tea, I made a slow cooker chicken tikka masala. Had rice with it, a naan bread, and some poppadoms. It was a little bit more watery than what I imagined, but it was very tasty. Okay. Then for the I'm a Celebrity Jungle, I had a little treat board. Yo, when you said little, right? When you said little treat board, right? <clears throat> what you talk about? What you mean little? Is this what you think is little? I'm trying to see what you think is big. I'm trying to see... What you think is big or ginormity or huge. I'm trying to see what you think about that. This little to you? This is light work, huh? This is light. This is just something, just a little something on the side. That's all it is, huh? Just a little side piece. Just a little snacky. Not much, really, right? How the fuck? You had your breakfast. Okay. That sandwich looking, that sloppy sandwich thing. The dry ass bread. And then you had a cookie. And then you had a cookie. And then you had a dessert thingy and then you had the tikka masala and now you talk about oh yeah i had a little some extra on the side a little bit this little huh uh, yeah 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 that's oh my god that shit big as fuck yeah that's little or jungle themed so i made myself jungle jungle themed why what you mean jungle themed where where the jungle at where tarzan in that i'll see that shit of a little snack plate off. I had some onion rings, some salt and vinegar twist, an almond cloud, caramel crispy thing, and a Colin the Caterpillar cake and some... You know she body slammed that shit, right? I know she showed that little tray right there, but why the fuck would you put all that food open on, the, on that charcuterie board or whatever the fuck that shit was and not body slam it? It was very tasty and perfect for the best show on telly at the minute. Love I mean, does it really matter? You know how many people sit there and go, I need something to eat when I'm eat. I need something to eat while I'm watching a TV show. You know, most people just body slam the food within the first, like, two minutes, right? Like, people are talking about some, oh, yeah, bro, I got to buy, I need food to watch this movie. And then they sit there and they finally put on a movie, right? They click play, play, and then they look down, it's gone. Before the credits is even done. You over here wasting all that time to put that food together only to body slam that shit in the first 30 seconds. And then the rest of the show, you just, you just sitting there, lips dry as fuck. Because you just body slammed 4,000 calories of all your food in the first two minutes. It doesn't even matter. Why does it matter? It doesn't matter. Stop doing that shit. You're dumb. You are. Love you too. Love you too. Love Hi you too. Hi everyone. So it's Chippy Chinese night. So. Oh yeah? Again? But let's dish out together. Yeah. That's, that's kind of, the bag's kind of crazy right now. I'm keeping the bug. The bag's is, the bag's is kind of big. Uh, they, them things is, uh. They're big, they're big. Okay, in this bag it's just prawn crackers. Okay. Now I call it chippy Chinese because I get this from the chippy. So first of all, in here, just some chips. Just some? Some chips? Just some, just a little bit, just a little bit. These are just more chips, we've got lots. Yeah, more chips, right? Okay, yeah, of course. You gotta need more, a little bit more chips than that, naturally. One serving, never enough, obviously. Chips tonight. What else, what else we got? Then I have to get. What's that? 
haven't had these for ages. What is it? Vegetables? Some barbecue ribs. I love them. I saw you eating that shit last month. What you mean in ages? I remember literally see you, seeing you eat the barbecue ribs. You was eating them vertically. I remember that shit. I remember the exact moment where you put the barbecue rib in your mouth and you had it like this and then you turned it to the side and you put it in vertically. I remember you ate the ribs the long way. And you over here talking about some I haven't had it in ages. Is one month an age to you? Ages, my bad. Go ahead. A small battered sausage. That's small? That's small? That seemed about average to me. What is that, four or five inches? Love. <laughs> Loaf. That's another battered sausage. Ah, damn. Two battered sausages? Kind of big. That's a lot, Becky. You already got you already got the barbecue and you got the two servings. What you need more than that? Another sausage. God damn. Ooh, got fruity curry and some mushy peas. Another sausage. G bro, okay. Okay, Becky. Would you just like, would you just click plus on that shit like five times when you was ordering it? Like, were you having a seizure in the middle of that shit and just kept pressing it? How many battered sausages you need in your mouth? And um, is that another battered sausage? Rice. Oh yeah, the rice. Yeah, of course. You gonna chippy tea naturally? You're gonna have to have a rice and a fries on the side. Obviously, two servings of fries and like four. How many fucking sausages was that? Three, four. Get it on the plate. Lost count. Okay, so that plate kind of big. Yo, Becky, uh, that plate kind of big. <laughs> That's a big ass plate. God damn, that shit wide as hell. The ribs, I'm gonna go for one. That's good. Oh. Nah, bro, you can't just go, I'm gonna go one, and then I just see three more pop up like that. That's kind of crazy, Becky. What the fuck is that cut? Four, that is a big Four. one. So Four, huh? Fried rice on. Okay, don't do it. Don't Eat do it. it. All of it? Wow. So much from this chippy <laughs> and my sausage. We doing something. We we really oh, we kind of going like crazy right now. Sauce. We going crazy a little bit right now, Becky. Over Becky, right. Becky, Becky, sausage Becky, 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 chill back. What you doing? Oops. Whoa, nobody else eating that shit. You over here dusting the sauce as if other people don't got mouths too. Becky, you big as hell for that, bro. Damn, dude. You over here dumping the, 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 the barbecue sauce on that shit as if nobody else in this house got mouse too, bro. Look at that. I'm looking at what you doing to yourself, Becky. What is that? Amazing. Hey, everyone. So it is tea time now. So let me show you what we're having for tea. You can see like a Christmas tree probably. What, did you show up to Santa's house too, bro? Just to make sure he got them cookies and milk for you? Where the fuck are you at? Be behind me. She went to Germany, I think. But it's so cozy. And she really do got them Santa cheeks, huh? You know when Santa be smiling, he got the big bulbous cheeks. She got them Santa cheeks. Side, I love it. So we've got some burgers on the go. Got the log burner on as well. Got the plates ready for the burgers. People think I'm weird when I eat burgers and I don't have buns. I just use regular bread, dude. I'm not bougie like that. I remember one time I had this girl over, and I was, she was like, "What do you?" She was like, "What are you gonna make?" And I was like, oh, "I'm gonna make some burgers." She was like, "Oh yeah, yeah." I like burgers. I was like, I know you like burgers, right? I know, I know you like burgers. I know, cause I, I made them. I, I was gonna make them for you. I know you like them burgers. And then she was like, where the buns? And I was like, what you mean the buns? She was like, where the buns? I was like, I don't got buns. What you talking? I got bread. I got, you know, I got regular white bread. What you talking about? I got bread. She was like, you don't eat your burger with buns? I never ate burgers before without buns. And here I am thinking, I've never had a burger. That was if that I made that wasn't just regular bread. The way I grew up, bread was everything. You just put the bread on everything. It didn't even fuck up. I was even eating the heels. Who the fuck care? I don't care. But she was like, I never I don't think I can eat this with, with just bread. I was like, what are you fucking talking about? It's fucking bread. Like it's not just no fucking difference. Like you need that slightly baked over sensation on the fucking the 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 bun. What you talking about? It's the same shit. Complain complain oh i don't know if i can do this you know i've never done this before talk about it's like it's like i'm trying to get her to like you know i don't know like e eat a hamster or something like that you know what i'm saying like it's a, it's a fucking piece of bread and eventually after about 20 minutes of arguing with this woman she eventually put that shit in her mouth and she was like it's not that bad i know i know I, it's almost as if I was telling you that the whole time. And why the fuck every time I ask you if you want to eat that food, hey, you want some apples? I'm going to go into the kitchen. I'm going to cut up some apples. You want some apples? No. You sure? I don't want any apples. Come back in. Can I have an apple? No. No. <laughs> no. 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 
It's already bad enough. You spraying your sparkles, your fucking sparkles in my in my room when I told you go in the bathroom and spray that shit. My my whole room covered in sparkles all over the place. And you're talking about some, I don't know if I can get the buns. I don't know if I can get the bread on the burger. Suck me off, bro. Suck me off. PTSD through the roof. Got the salad. Salad, yep. Obviously, Becky thinks anything is salad. It's just like slightly green, but I'll give her that. There's some, there's some, there's some cabbage in that. Bread and stuff. Got some coleslaw okay. and some aioli. Okay. Just having a nice cup of tea waiting for the uh, tea. Look a little bit dark, Becky. I'm happy for you. She usually just has a tea soaker for like five seconds. Burgers. So I'm just gonna put some aioli. Got a burger. My short guys have got a burger. Aioli on the bottom of my burger. Burger. I'm just gonna put a little bit on the base. A little bit, huh? Who you who you in the who you in the cabin with? Who you in the cabin with? Who who who's there with you? And then I'm gonna put some lettuce on. Uh -huh. A little bit. And then here is my burger. Ooh, it looks so delicious. Thick. Oh, it's thick. With a cheese. Got... With a cheese. 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 A tomato. As with a cheese. Well. With a cheese. Look that tomato that. is thick as fuck. I don't know about any of that. And some cucumber. On the on the bird? Cucumber? Couldn't be me. I have uh, I'm happy this vegetable. No cheese? Smart sauce swap. I'm going to put that on the side. Look at that. It's, it's a little bit too burger. thick for me. That burger a little bit too thick. I don't know why you made that tomato so goddamn thick, bro. I was going to have cheese, but I'm not going to have it now. I'm just going to stick with this. So you had cheese the whole time. Put some smart ketchup on the side. Oh. There we go. All right. Not bad. Let's have a bite. Let's see what it tastes like, guys. Let's see what the Ooh. mouth feels like. Here we go. Dang, I can't Yummy. even fit that shit in your mouth. Also got some coleslaw as well, but I'm not going to have this. What is cheese coleslaw? I've never heard of cheese coleslaw. I've heard of regular coleslaw. I like it. It's okay. Cheese coleslaw? That don't even sound right. Making choices. Oh, wait. Becky, don't ever use your mouth like that ever again. That was crazy as fuck. What you mean you're making choices? That shit said cheese coleslaw. I didn't even know that shit was possible. That shit sound like a forbidden menu item, bro. That shit sound like somebody saying some shit like, oh yeah, bro, I have some gingerbread noodles. Like it don't even sound real. That shit sounds like some made up shit. It's so delicious, guys. Got the Chinese pork chops in the pan now as well. What? What? What you talk about? What you mean Chinese pork chops? You don't got a whole burger in your lips right now? You literally got burger meat in between your lips. Talk about some of this pork chops on the stove? For what? For who? who is it, bro, you, you act like you don't got a big ass burger in your mouth right now. As if that shit's not going to satiate your lips. Why you need all that? Go ahead. Go ahead. Mm, okay. The Why you need that too? God damn, Becky. You kind of best. <laughs> Becky. Becky. Becky, calm the fuck down. Okay. You, you, you're disrespecting my eyeballs right now. Why do you need two of these when I just saw you body slamming a whole ass big ass burger like literally a second ago? You need more when you had more? How much more you need when you have more? Chinese style pork chops. What makes it Chinese style? You got some Chinese dude making that shit? Did he like grate his hands a little bit? Get the seasoning off the hands onto the... Go ahead, bro. Let's see what they taste like. I'm not going to have any sauce with these, but let's just say... Okay. She really tried to cut that pork chop with just the fork. This is my new favorite Coke as well. It's Diet Coke, caffeine free, and it tastes really good. Wow. Why do you? Hi to... everyone, and welcome to my what are you in a day. I'm just sad. So I'm still trying to help you eat. Today I was going away for the night, and all I had in was these sandwiches, which I absolutely love. love. So I had some of those. And a few of the Ritz crackers as well. I then had a Twix bar, which was absolutely solid. Twix, huh? Twix? I like Twix. But didn't you just say that you was trying to make better decisions? It'd been in the freezer bag. And it also had one of my Diet Coke, the caffeine Yo, with the back teeth. Do the back so teeth. much nicer than Coke Zero. In my opinion, anyway. But I still like Coke Zero. Then before tea was done, I had some of these sweet chili crisp. And then for tea at the glamping pod, I had a burger. A burger. With some salad on, tomato, cucumber, and lettuce. Yeah, I and only eat cucumbers whole. You know that? 
If I'm putting a cucumber in my mouth, vertically, in my throat, who who go, who gonna pay for the, who who gonna pay to see that? Just subscribe to my OnlyFans. I'm deep throating whatever. I also had two Chinese style chops, pork ones. I cut all the fat off these then. Oh yeah, that really makes a difference. You're doing a good job on that one, Becky. Good job. And then I had a little bit later on, because it was absolutely freezing, I had a nice hot chocolate huh. and some bourbon biscuit. Bourbon. I absolutely love bourbon biscuits. Why are you say like that? But you know what? Usually when I go on nights away like this, I would order a takeaway. And I know a burger <laughs> in the Chinese. I mean, it's pretty much the same shit, right? These chops weren't the healthiest, but I chose not to have any chips or anything with them. I just saw you eating chips. I guess she's talking about french fries. I, I guess it's, yeah, you did a good job, Becky. Yeah, 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 go ahead, bro. You and that's it. my mindset from now on. Just trying to cut out a few things and just make healthy. Well, what would you, would you cut out? You just, you just cut out the fat. Like, that's really all you did. Your mouth was still being satisfied. I just saw you eat a Twix. You good, bro? That's fine, whatever. Uh, uh. Anyway, we're going to end the video here. If you enjoyed today's video, I'd appreciate everybody to leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video. All those things I'd appreciate tremendously. If you watch the video in its entirety and or you're here right now, leave it down below by typing in ICE. ICE, baby. Doom, doom, da, da, doom, doom. Doom, doom, da, da, doom, doom. Boom, boom. Yeah, leave it down below. ICE. I like ICE um, in, my, in my water sometimes. My teeth are a little bit sensitive, so I don't really do that. A lot of people call me a pussy for drinking room temp water. You're a pussy for drinking your ICE water thinking that you're a big man because I could put ICE in my water. No, you're not. No, you're not. No, you're not. You're a bitch. You're a bitch. Okay, I said it. You think you're cool because you can crunch ice? Huh? You think you're cool because you can crunch ice? When I go outside, I just throw my penis straight up into the toilet water. Who's a bitch now? Anyway, guys. Um, I want to remind everybody, thank you for spending some time with me today. Time is the most valuable thing you have. I'm happy that you could spend some time with me. That's amazing. You're so beautiful, by the way. Your hair, your eyes, your lips, uncrunched. They're good. They taste good, too. I don't know for sure, but I know they do. I know you got the good marination upon yourself. You just look like somebody that's well marinated. If you was if you was on a menu at a particular restaurant, I would have thought you was a fish. Anyway, we're going to end the video here. If you want to check out my social medias, it'll be listed down below in the description. Enjoy the rest of your night. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. 